Hello my soccer universe. English Dutch background, Spanish shirt. I don't think it's a debut for this channel, but at least for the review videos. So let's look at an Italian team. Just makes sense because I can. Uh, this is my first Atalanta jersey and I remember I bought this right around the same time as I got this Liverpool jersey and Liverpool just became champions and I was already looking for it. Atalanta was doing really really well. They were in the Champions League as the last Italian team and I saw a path for them at least making the final and probably they should have made it and I remember sitting on the couch and uh, telling my wife you know it won't be cheap but I really need an Atalanta jersey. I really want to have for most of the teams in the Champions League. This team might win it a little bit ridiculous to think that this team might win it. I bet I have one. And I was actually looking at the home jersey in full Champions League regalia, but this would have been 85 bucks uh, on Amazon. And I have to say, uh, the Atalanta store was sold out, so I know this won't be cheap. And then I saw this one here. I think it was around 50 euros. Maybe a little bit above, maybe a little bit below. I don't know. And I remember my wife seeing it and saying, yeah, this looks really, really good. She meant the blocks here on top. But I think she also liked at the Atalanta Goldas, which is not your typical Atalanta crest because it, uh, the, it, it's the uh, ellip ellipsoid <laughs> with the Goldas. But I actually have to say I like the running Goldas here as well. So uh, pretty cool. Um, I, the story of at at Atalanta, look it up on Wikipedia uh, if you're interested. But yes, uh, she's also on the inside on the tail of the shirt uh, going all the way around, which I think is also, also a really nice touch. And I really have to say, just having a white jersey where you add the club's colors somehow usually makes for a great looking shirt. And uh, this one is no different. Um, I, I think this is a large, so it's a little bit tight, but it's a really, really nice jer uh, jersey. The one thing, this is the Serie A configuration. I mean, that's why I look at Champions League uh, jersey, because they all would say the Radici group. This one is full with sponsors. Uh, and some of the sponsors, I mean, the Radici group, I think is all right. The U Power is already, I think it would look much better with this, because it adds a certain color. Then you have the, the sleeves, Auto M M H A. Also adding another color. I was very happy. I did not expect it to get the beautiful Serie A patch on this one. And I have, I have, I have had to say, this is a great Serie A logo. Uh, unlike other logos that were special, the one that immediately preceded. This is a great Serie A logo. I absolutely love it and I'm happy they kept this one. Um, and then another sponsor. I mean, I didn't get the name set, but that one just tops it off the orange one on the back. Uh, if I could have got the name set, I, pro I probably would have put Papo Gomez and at the time of recording he is not at Atalanta anymore, which was inconceivable just half a year, year ago because Papo was Atalanta that much. Uh, as for so there's all it says Atalanta PC 1907 and this was the one thing I mean I saw Atalanta at first I always thought yeah they are um, blue and black because they are after Inter and then you realize no Inter is a year younger so there are two blue and black teams and Atalanta is in a way the original I wouldn't call them the original but uh, they're at least not copying Inter so uh, good on them. The jersey has another really, really interesting feature, and I don't know if, if the camera will pick this up and uh, assembly. Yeah, you, you all can see. Do you see the cityscape on the front of the jersey kind of printed in? This is an awesome, awesome feature that I absolutely love. I mean, it looks at first a little bit off, but this is so great. I mean, I've never been in Bergamo, but if you again go to Wikipedia, watch Bergamo, you can actually really identify the buildings. This is a great touch. As for the jersey itself, um, I still have the tags somewhere. I think they are in a, they are my reading sign now at the moment, but they were of course attached also on the inside of the collar. Uh, there is not really to uh, distinguish the fakes, but I want to show you uh, on the inside of the collar are the sizing labels for Homa, although I think Homa is not really uh, a, a company that's faked a lot. The Homer logos are plastic and you can see this. Uh, this is a plastic, the J here, 
the J here is also a plastic. This is basically the same jer jersey that the players are wearing. Uh, I think for the small, smaller brands, you always have that. Um, while the, those are just some transfers on there, I actually find the color very interesting. I think it's a nice look and color. Uh, and then you have here on the bottom a uh, Homa hologram. And again, I know I want to have this light to be properly lit in a way, but with white jer jer jersey usually doesn't work out but here you see the hologram it's actually quite nicely done although i realize holograms can be faked very easily as well um, and then you have the side paneling is heavily uh, heavily it's it's this ventilated active material with some holes in there so uh there is a little bit of that sleeves of course in black and blue uh, and again i just want to show the color it has this inset on the front and then there's another, so then, then there's this part and then uh, it's, like, it's like a standing collar, uh, which is a little bit weird. It says, I mean, uh, in the here, La Malia Sudata Sempre, does Jersey always sweats? This is kind of the working class nature of Atalanta, um, which reminds me, if you want to know more about Atalanta and Brescia, which is a great rivalry, there's a wonderful, wonderful one hour documentary um of um what's the the channel name um total no 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 um i'll pull it up in, in the description that the the name doesn't come I, I, absolute absolute derby days is is the series absolute great uh documentary my favorite my favorite is when they uh fight about the local food but yeah this is at the moment my Atalanta jersey. I would like to have a black and blue one uh, eventually, but for now this will do. Uh, it's beautiful. I think this is, since I'm doing church jersey routes, it's definitely the most beautiful away Atalanta jersey. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Yes, it could do with a few less sponsors, but you know, this is how it was worn. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!